What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create and apply a cascading style sheet to a Dreamweaver HTML document. So open up your HTML document inside of Dreamweaver and you're going to click on format and then go to CSS styles and say new. Here we have the selector type which can either be a class, an ID, or a tag. You'll usually use the class or an ID. Um, the class can apply to any HTML element, and you want to use the ID basically whenever you're just using it on one. So I'm going to create a style that applies to only the body tag, and it's going to make the background black. So I'm going to click on ID and say body background as the name and then I'm going to click on new style sheet because we want to create an external cascading style sheet say ok and I created one earlier that was called CSS but I'm going to name a new one and we're going to call it new CSS so as you see it, it took this uh, information that we gave it and turn it into a link tag inside of the header in your HTML file and it linked it to new CSS.css and it popped up with uh, the definition for the body background ID that we just created so I'm going to click on background as you can see there's a lot of options here to completely customize exactly what is inside that body tag but for here we're gonna make the background color black and we're gonna make the text Carolina blue actually right more that one there we go alright so you're gonna clean out here and everything should turn black once we apply the style so you click inside the body and you see down here in your properties inspector you um, should have the class let me refresh this oh it's attached to style sheet okay oh let's do this Oh, you know what? We need to save the page. That's why. It's, uh, there we go. Oh, I, was, I need to click on ID. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> now we type inside of the body, and it should be blue. Blue text. There we go. And that is how you create a cascading style sheet inside of Dreamweaver. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.